Not oh, I just put the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got the, the Sephiroth coming out from Flying Boy. And the the classic Ike coming out from D-Dude. We got, we got two hot dudes swinging around swords. This is going to be an interesting one. I didn't say that. I'm not going to be paying attention to training. We're going to be D -Dude. We got D -Dude versus D -Dude over here. All right, games are changed. All right, so Didu uh, coming off with a pretty early lead, uh, landing some, landing some air conversions. <laughs> but we it. Yep, the, the triple skittle. Uh, stuck on Didu now. A little bit scary, but timing the shield perfectly and, and uh, uh, getting off scot free there. <laughs> Pretty even game here though, both players just doing a good job of, of just spacing around each other. They both have extremely hit, uh, big hitboxes, which means that they can both hit each other easily, but also if they space right, it's going to be really hard for both of them to, to hit each other at times. Especially how Flying Boy does have a wing. Ooh, almost dying with that F tilt. As every, as every Sephiroth uh, player will tell you, uh, character is ridiculously light, so yep, that back air off the platform is going to kill. Dude, dude coming in with a sock lead. And he's only at 113%, so it's almost at kill percent, but not quite at kill percent for anything other than an off smash tag. Finally, letting loose since down is here. Not quite accomplishing anything, unfortunately, though. <laughs> Ooh, counter, yep, countering inside the amazing counter. Taking the stock right there. Pretty even, back to a pretty even game here. Um, both players just kind of playing neutral, playing, playing the space in game. Flying Boy getting a great conversion there with the, the single uh, kick of Shadow Flare. Dude, trying to go for uh, a random puppy, try to catch something. Uh, gets stuffed out for it though, and gets a good conversion. <laughs> Tried to counter, but didn't fight. Didn't fight at the time. He gets dash attack and dies on right off the side. <clears throat> Once again, D dude, uh, Mike is a pretty heavy character here, so this is gonna this might be a struggle unless uh, Flying Boy gets another big counter like he like he did earlier. Big counter, a big juggle is is what it's gonna take. Missing the Mega Flare there, getting jabbed, uh, getting sent back off stage. This is a pretty scary situation. Sephiroth being so light, being in the corner against the heavy of the guy who has so much kill potential, can be really scary. No matter, no matter what percent you are. But Flying Boy doing a great job. At, ooh, wow. Yep. Catching you know, Sidey on the way down. It is pretty vulnerable if you don't snap immediately the ledge with it. But <clears throat> dude, it does have a pretty decent advantage uh, here still. I'd be sending him right back off. Ooh, the counter though, 43% on Didu from that back end. Flying Boy, trying, trying his hardest to, to bring this back, and it looks like he's succeeding at least a little bit. Getting caught by that forward air there, though, this could be bad. No ledge invincibility, but ooh, Didu gets caught by the slash. Upping onto the top flat there. Keep himself safe. This is an entirely even game. Now Flying Boy has eked out a little bit of a lead. But both players here are at kill percent, so this could be scary. One straight dash attack or a back air. Ooh, but amazing up smash again to catch the side B there. Flying Boy going up 1 0. This is game one. Pretty uh, extremely close set. Just doing a great job at catching those recoveries. Both players sticking with their character here. Flying Boy obviously sticking with the Sephiroth he just went with, and D-Dude sticking with the Ike. Was a very close set, so... I don't see anything new to Once again, going back to, uh... 
the battlefield. Right. Dude. Okay. Dude, uh, starting off with amazing pressure here. Uh, just getting a amazing lead, getting getting these nares and these grabs and these up airs. Down throw into forward air, almost killing flying blow, but not quite. Tries to dash tech to two frame, but gets caught, takes a little bit of damage for it, but you know, this is a really scary situation for flying blow. He just has to uh, uh, gets caught by the by the F kill and just just dies, but evaporates. here. I'm getting a little bit of extra damage, but hasn't managed to get a whole lot. Only 35% on DD uh, on Flying Boy, but getting a Nair into up air again. And getting some pretty good versions of up tilt scooping, not killing though. Ike is a very heavy character, so. Not landing on the top platform, trying to spot dodge the uh, the shadow players there, but getting hit by getting hit by the aftermath. Sour hit though is not going to kill. Getting caught by that last hit. He tries to go for for just a really ballsy aftermath. Fight, I get it. Top of the pretty up though and dies. Uh, honestly, just a few more good hits and climb like the next could be it for his stock. Job at getting a little bit of extra damage back, but that puppy is barely not killing Mega Player trying to cover, cover himself for getting back to stage. Armoring through, uh, armoring, armoring through that down tilt there might have honestly been worse for him than just taking the down tilt. Oh, Blind Boy has made it back and is now the lead. But he was in a really dangerous situation again, yep, catching, catching with the up smash. Flying Boy overall is doing an amazing job at catching these recoveries. Like side B is pretty easy to punish to have a move that can punish it well. And Sephiroth up smash is the Sephiroth up smash and Sephiroth counter are perfect for that. And we've been seeing Flying Boy using that super well this entire set. Trying to play the spacing game, but ooh, with some F smash gets narrow and narrow to up air, the dude doesn't get any anything more off of it though. Off by the forward air, tries to go for the down air, but doesn't quite doesn't quite land it. Uh, top of the up by the octa flash. Amazing up air into back into uh, back air there. I was telling them to check out the heavy thing that was talking Oh, I don't think that, I don't think the stream wants to hear Kwande being the noises. No, I think they do. I don't. Is it start to hear Jason being the Yeah, just turn it down a little bit. Alright, then don't play Kwande. Uh, just, no, just go into the settings, and there's a uh, volume setting. The settings in Smash, not on the Switch. Alright, on to a, on to a nice Game 3 Flying Boy up 2-0 here. Let me change that real quick. 2-0 for Flying Boy. Went back to Battlefield here, I mean, honestly. I don't, I, it doesn't really surprise me that this battlefield is a pretty great stage for Ike. Um, yeah, all, all these, uh, both these sets have been very close, so so a, a, a stage change or character change isn't entirely necessary here. 
Dying Boy. Uh, in different fashion than how the last few games started. Uh, getting off with pretty early lead on like a dude has been the past few games. Trying to up you there to catch the recovery, getting getting smoked for it. The counter just barely not reaching. Not that that honestly probably would have killed Dudu there. Or at least led, led to him dying. Both players once again. And as I said, being in it dead, it's just going to be a set of, of neutral and spacing, and that is true to be true. Uh, with both players playing very patient. But then also, if you land the right move with these characters, you get a really big conversion off of it. And the staggered jab there from Dido just barely catching Time Boy. <clears throat> catching the catching Dido's landing with the up with the uh, up air. Time Boy just trying to run away, trying to keep the lead as much as possible. Twenty four percent with that up smash and. It's keeping, keeping together this advantage. Wow, three meaty hits in a row off oh, Dudu's party at 90%. Both of them gets, uh, Lanny gets caught by the dash attack and Lion Boy is very dead. Now the counter is the FB, this might be it for Dudu. Ooh, but mistimes the counter this time. Dudu makes it back, but gets caught by the back air. First jab, what the fuck is that? Anyways, uh, you down a full stock here and has been laughing for percent. This is real bad for Dudu. He's gonna have to... But, uh, he is gonna have to make a lot of high damage conversions here pretty soon, but I think no stranger to doing that. But I mean, he is being stuck pretty hard in disadvantage here. Flying Boy is doing an amazing job at just maintaining the lead and just keeping, keeping the pressure on Dudu here. Barely knocking the up smash, just going for it a little bit too far. Oh, but the air dodge is gonna send the flying boy straight to, straight into the blast zone, and this could see a comeback here from Dudu. It's not impossible in any way, but plans for falling there into the back air. That is a swift freeze hero. But then the flying boy. 